Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, believe it or not. Face is different. Um, yeah, I decided that, well, I didn't decide actually. I was gonna go put some makeup on and Rob said to me, just do your video, you look fine. So I thought, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it with a bare face. <laughs> yeah, so this is me. And um, yeah, new video, it's always a vlog. I'm gonna show you um, some sales, which I'm really, really proud of. Really good sales and a lot of sales as well. Um, and I'm also gonna answer some questions and show you a bit of what's going on at home. So if you enjoy the video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Like, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, hit the bell for regular notifications. If you want to get a bit more involved with me, then I have a Facebook group. The Facebook group link is on my channel. It's in the community tab, if you go into there. If you can't find it, all you need to do is write Mrs. England's Emporium into the search bar. I do have a page, but my page is the same as my Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, don't worry about that. But I've got a page and I've got a group. So come and redress, request to join. I'm hopefully gonna go live in there soon, but the house has been a bit chaotic got kids all over the place and I'm just like ah oh! but I said I would try and go live probably in about 30 minutes which is yeah <sighs> putting pressure on myself but there you go we'll see I like to go on there and try and talk to people and see who's about and answer any questions that anyone has or you know just chat in general things I can't do on here properly put it that way so let's get into it shall we I'm going to show you all what I've sold. I know it's a bit of a weird angle. I've done it so I can show you without me having to hold on to the camera. Okay, so this has gone on Vinted. It is a Stella Sports, um, like a cropped Mac. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Extra small. So I didn't think it would go that fast, but it has £22 on Vinted I got for that. Really pleased with that. And this dress, I've only just bought this. Um, you'll have all seen it on a recent video if you watched. If you didn't, go back and look. It is a Susan Small made in England, 1970s vintage dress. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I know I can't show you the full thing, but it's got like, it's got like big balloon sleeves with like the cuff there, look, they're massive. Absolutely gorgeous, mismatch pattern, it's got like, stripey and floral all the way through it and then just floral at the top this has gone for a whopping 70 pounds plus postage i knew it was good when i found it carrying more trainers i'm not even going to bother showing you a photo of these at the end because they're really boring just a pair of black and pink carrying more trainers they've gone for a tenner plus postage i've sold applejack Generation one, My Little Pony from the 80s. She's gone for just uh, just under £10 plus postage. Don't get as much for them anymore, unfortunately. Kid Connects, um, I had this ages. I thought it would go for more. That's gone for £8 plus postage. This lovely champagne carrier slash wine container. That went for just under £14 plus postage. I thought this was vintage when I got it. I was very naive. It is not. And... This guy is the first of the chalk heads to sell, a little Armenian dude. He has gone for just under 13 plus postage on eBay as well. I did have him on Etsy too, but eBay got the sale. So yeah, that is up to now what I have sold. Ignore my son's colouring stuff in the background. I'm going to keep that away from that dress, obviously. And I will show you some more things shortly. Right, a couple more things to show you. So I've sold this Ever After High doll which was part of a huge bundle of Monster High dolls I got. This was in there. This has gone for £12 plus postage. I've only got about three of them left now. So I had 70 odd dolls and a load of accessories and I'm down to like my last three. So I'm really excited about that. Then I sold these. These were a personal sale. I had all of these on DVD. These are my last two of these as well that I've sold. And um, they have gone together to the same buyer for just over £30 plus postage, so really pleased with that. Um, yeah, they did combine postage on that, so that's really good. Yeah, I have got some more stuff to show you, but I haven't got it out yet, so they will be coming up soon. Right, everyone, I'm going to do a few questions because I thought I would um, 
yeah just do an interval because all this video seems to be about is sales and i don't want that to be the thing so this well it's not really a question um julie pearson basically hello julie she wrote on my comments um that she's never had that on depop it's happened on facebook marketplace they send messages and want your email but want to pay for the courier they send as there is a problem with their account right okay so i'll put this into context for you basically i had a problem on depop i listed some items it's a brand new account and people were spam messaging me but in in a way that made me really freak out i was like whoa why am i getting all these messages i've only put one thing on um, and it was all the same message basically saying that they wanted me to send me their email address but not without the at in it so i could send it because obviously depop flags it up like ebay does and it was a scam it's a con basically what they do is they get your email address off you and then they send you an email that looks like it's from depop and you click on it and it tells you that the person has bought your item and to um find you know get the transaction sorted you need to click on this link and when you click on the link you pay you put in your details and then they can hack your account or they can hack your paypal or whatever they can do all sorts of stuff so yeah that nearly happened to me luckily i'm not that daft but you know i'm not saying people that click on it are daft by the way i just mean i get this sort of thing a lot so i've clued up i'm clued up on it now but yeah nearly i nearly nearly fell for it because I was new on Depop, I think that's what they prey on. They think that people are going to think that they didn't set up their account properly or whatever. And then they prey on those people and then they send the email and you're like, yes, I've made a sale. And you know what it's like when you make a sale. It's the most exciting feeling. Even now, years on, I still get really excited about sales, believe it or not, even the small ones. But yeah, they prey on that and they know that you're going to get excited and not think properly and do whatever so just be wary and like julie said people on facebook marketplace do this too they do it everywhere they do it on gumtree i've had it everywhere and um, i was going to start using spock but thanks to the lovely people in my facebook group and the advice i've had in there i've decided not to go ahead with that i forgot that me and rob actually have used it before and we didn't sell anything <laughs> it was so bad we spent ages putting things on and nothing happened um now depop i'm still using it i've got four items now i've got three items on there now because one of them sold but not on depop um but i'm gonna keep listing on there because i think at some point it should be pretty good i know other resellers use it and they sell things on there all the time so i'm hoping that that will happen for me um, but obviously it's like any of these platforms you've got to keep feeding the beast and I don't really have a lot that is Depop worthy at the moment um, so I'll just put things on as and when I get them I may buy more stuff thinking of my Depop account who knows who knows what I'll do but yeah thank you for that my darling Angela Evington has put great vlog I would love to know more about how a reseller decides what amount to reinvest and how to take some cash out should a new be reinvest all the monies and build up stock okay well thank you for that angela right so this is quite a weird one for me because i think maybe me and rob do things a little differently to a lot of people i know on my group on facebook we were talking about it in there and one of my lovely group members asked what whether people and um, resellers in the group are having a separate account a business account for their ebay and we don't do that we use our one account for everything because otherwise we're going to have to move money around all the time because our ebay pays our bills so basically it's the same for us as getting a wage it would go into that account and it pays the bills but i do think it's a good idea to have a business account um as for choosing the amount to reinvest what we tend to do here is we tend to go on what sales we've had so if we have a really good week of sales and we've brought in a really good amount of money that makes the decision to how much we can put back out there so we my accountant my husband rob 
he he is in charge of the finances so he does all that i'm not very good with money <laughs> let's just say hmm i'd probably spend everything we have on stock and then worry about it later but he tends to see how much that we can spend and then we go from there so it all depends with us how much we're bringing back in but i think in the beginning when you're setting up i think you need a bit of a cash flow to start so if you're not aware of my story i started in the beginning rob has been doing this a year longer than me and then when it got to a year later and i saw how well he was doing i was doing network marketing which i yeah not very happy to talk about <laughs> no i am i am it's it's a part of my life and it's fine but yeah i did that and then i decided that it wasn't working anymore and it was a lot of work for what i was getting out of it and you got a lot of hate for doing it as well i didn't get supported the way i do doing this but it was constant on social media you had to be posting all the time and it was for very little outcome for yourself so one day i just said right that's it my last paycheck i am going to go out and i'm going to buy a load of stuff and i'm going to open my own ebay so that's what i did and i have never looked back so i first of all reinvested well i invested first of all into my shop a hundred pounds and i went to we had at the time it's not there anymore but we had a dove house clearance center which basically all the stuff that hadn't sold from the local dove house charity shops would all go there and to start with it was all a pound all the clothes were a pound all the shoes were a pound a bric-a-brac was three for a pound and so on and so forth so i went and spent a hundred pound on stuff i thought would sell and what I did was I came home, I photographed it all, I listed it all and I did them all on 99p auctions because they cost me a pound. And the idea was in the beginning was to build my feedback, get people to trust in me as a brand, build my feedback and get things up and running properly. So that's what I did. 99p auctions. A lot of it went at 99p, but some of it went for quite a bit more. I got £5 for some stuff, £10 for some stuff. It was good. Bearing in mind how atrocious auctions perform now with clothing, unless you've got something really cool. I thought that was pretty good at the time and it built my feedback up and enabled me to go out and buy more stock. So I basically doubled that money that i'd put into it by doing the first bout of auctions and then i took that money again and i went again and in the beginning i think it's important to do that to have that cash flow but now it seems to be that we we've kind of got now into a bit of a thing where we make sure our bills are paid first and then whatever we've got left out we make sure we've got money for this that and the other and then we see how much money we've got for stock and that's how we work um yeah i hope that helps angela i know it's probably a bit confusing if you want me to go into it more please comment again ask me exactly what you want to know and i will cover it for you okay a few more sales to show you i seem to have loads of sales this weekend it's been really good so far um we are on bank holiday monday now but yeah it's been a good weekend um so this is a pasta maker that is in the box it is not brand new it's been used um lisa gave me that so thank you to lisa so it was completely free um this has gone for 25 pound plus postage um took an offer on it i did have it on for a little bit more than that but yeah pretty pleased with that since it's free money and I thought it would have gone quicker. I've noticed that when MasterChef is on, and it's on iPlayer all the time now, so anyone can watch it, they use a lot of these on MasterChef. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if anyone will want one and go on eBay and buy it. Well, maybe that's what's happened. I don't know. But yeah, £25 plus postage for that on eBay. This Topshop fur leather jacket, I haven't had this very long. Um... This has gone on Vinted for £15 this morning. 
Um, I've got these wooden coasters. I've had these forever. I paid 33p for them about 45 years ago. <laughs> It feels that long. No, about, about two and a half years ago. They've gone for £7 plus postage. This lovely Bratz cat. Um, I think it's a Bratz Pets cat. This is a vintage one anyway. This has gone for £15 plus postage. I got an offer on that this morning. Um, Bratz doll. Seems to be a Bratz day. This has gone for £14 plus postage. I took quite a low offer on this because I've had it on for quite a lot of money. I need to sort her hair out before she goes. She's in a bit of a mess. Um, she's been in one of my boxes. So, yeah, and when I got her out, she'd lost a foot. So I had to get everything out to find the foot. So, yeah, £14 plus postage on hair. This is a basically a mustard coloured handbag. Um, I am going to get it out and check it. I just haven't managed to do that yet. That's gone for £5 plus postage. That was from Rob's grandma, Wilma. So thank you to Wilma for that. And this, the reason it is like this is because it got returned. And um, these are my LK Benny black suede shoes. Um, they didn't fit, so they came back. And they have gone again very quickly for £30 plus postage. I will show you pictures of these at the end because, yeah, I am going to get them out, but... They're not that interesting to do another bit of video on. Um, so, yeah, I will show you a picture right now. But, yeah, not bad sales, really. Very excited. Um, hoping I'll get a few more today. So, I'm doing my parcels in little bouts. So, I don't have loads to do. And it's my birthday on Wednesday. By the time this video comes out, my birthday will have been and gone. We're not going to talk about how old I am. But I'm trying to get everything done so we can take it all tomorrow so on wednesday i can have the day off completely and enjoy my birthday get back on it on thursday so yeah happy days let's get some great birthday sales in i'm putting putting the vibes out there now law of attraction gonna get great sales on my birthday okay so i have a question and I'm sorry if I butcher your name, darling. I really don't mean to. I am rubbish at pronouncing names. Tehamina Shaheen, I think your name is. Please tell me if it's right. Um, hi, can you please make a video about international postage? Are there any laws we have to be aware of because I'm scared of international shipping? I'm selling clothes and shoes, thank you. Right, so thank you for your question. So, um, I have actually done a video on this, so I will link it to the last, the last bit of the video. I'll put that video up there for you to see. But in a nutshell, don't be scared of international postage. If you're on eBay, do GSP, allow GSP. Um, I would take Germany off because they charge extra taxes and things like that. Um, but if you, you can actually sign up to this thing, I can't remember what it is, George Ross did a video on it anyway, you can sign up to something which you pay yearly for the amount of stuff you would sell over in Germany, um, and then that allows you to do it, but you have to look into that one because I haven't done that, I've just took it off completely, um, but don't be scared, um, with clothes and shoes, it's pretty straightforward, there are some things you can't ship abroad, but as a whole, it's pretty good. And it's the same, really, as shipping in the UK. But I really, really highly recommend using GSP. <laughs> right, OK. Got a load of sales to show you. This is all Rob's stuff. A um, couple of my bits over here. They're Rob's too. So I'm going to get in get started straight away so we can uh, get through this because there's a lot so we have these these are men's size 11 adidas trainers um pro nova football soccer shoes these went for 11 pound 20 plus postage we have since learned buying stuff like this that not everything goes for good money and a lot of this stuff has gone cheap i will add because we are clearing out dead stock and starting again so we're just bringing money back in at the moment getting rid of rubbish and yeah hopefully making better decisions when it comes to buying okay eddie stobart um it's like a zippy hoodie type thing 
it is a size large it has gone for 45 pound plus postage so very good um right okay where's this let's have a look da, 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 da. golf trousers is that those galvin greens golf trousers these are a 34 inch waist 32 leg stretch a gray striped galvin green golf trouser they have gone for 20 pound plus of postage then we've got these Samuel Windsor trousers, brand new with tags, 32 slash 29. So that's a 29 inch leg. Sorry, I'm out of focus there. Um, they're a short leg, yeah. £6.29 for those. Again, something that we probably would not buy again. Then we've got... I'm doing a little bit of a song for you while I'm finding stuff. Then we've got this Puma hoodie, um, extra large. That has gone for £10 plus postage. So we'll stick that over there. We've got this tie here. Um, this has gone for £4.49 plus postage. That was part of a bundle, I will add, the I bought, I think. I love it. In fact, I think it was. Right, we'll scrap that comment because I'm not 100% sure. Two pairs of Adidas shorts. Um, they've both got the stripes down the side. They are a small or a teenager size. It says £15 plus postage for those. We've got a Virgin London Marathon jacket. That has gone for £10 plus postage. We thought that would go for a lot more, but no interest at all. Um, right, we've got Thomas Pink trousers here. These were... These are an extra long leg, so they're a 30 waist, 36 inch leg. Wow, made in Italy. They've gone for £14.39. Then we have in here an M&S suit. Now, I don't need to show you pictures of this, do I? Because we know what a suit looks like. £23.99 for that plus postage. We have got a load of socks over here in this bag um these are brooks brothers socks again you know what a pair of socks looks like um they say brooks brothers on them they're nothing fancy they're probably they're brown all of them are brown they're made of wool these have gone there's two packs in here one went for 40 pound 50 for 10 pairs plus postage and the other one went to 33 pound for 10 pairs plus postage they've gone to the same guy he has actually bought some before off us and we are nearly out of brooks brother socks now i am glad to report okay then we have this this is sold before a michael kors men's jacket it came back before because the arms were a little short anyway it's sold again 35 pound three free postage on this one and um, so hopefully that will not come back this time um, and then we've got a Ben Sherman jacket. This is literally just a brown jacket. Um, it has gone, I'll show you a picture of it on the iPad actually. Probably easier to do it that way, won't it? Get everybody's stuff off there. There we go, that's it. Nice jacket. It's like um, a, a, a soft shell outer jacket. There you go, very nice. So it's in there. We always pack things like this up now. Um, that has gone for £10.40 plus postage. Okay, we've got a Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt. This is a men's one. I don't tend to pick these up in ladies because they don't go for a lot of money. This is a size medium. It's got a guitar on it. San Francisco, USA men's. £10 plus postage. Rob isn't picking those up anymore either. Okay, let me see if I can find the last two items. <laughs> Always fun. Okay, so what have we got here? We have a Timberland jumper. Here it is. Now, this was a shocker because it is cashmere blend. It is a 3XL. It's got the hit on the front. It's got ticking all the right boxes, but for some reason it has just sat around for weeks on end. So we've ended up taking an offer of £12 plus postage on it. Still made money on it, but obviously not as much as we would have liked. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's gone. It's good. It's fine. Happy to get rid of it. And then the last thing here of Rob's is this Osvaldo 
Turici. I know you love it when I say these names. Anyway, it is a 16.5 collar, 42 inch chest um, shirt, which is striped blue and white with a tartan interior. Very posh. Lovely pocket there too. Look, pocket detail. And this has gone for £10.50 plus postage. Now I'm going to show you my things. Now these aren't that exciting compared to the other stuff I sold. But I've had these. I aren't even joking. About 20 years. No, I'm doing it again, aren't I? 25 years I've had these trousers. I haven't. I've had them about three years. Atelier Gardia. Anyway, don't buy this brand anymore. Um, size 38. This is a three quarter length pair of navy blue trousers. They have sold for £10 plus postage on eBay. This vase... I mean, I thought it was really cute at the time. I only paid 33 pence for it. The problem with it is, which I didn't look when I bought it, is that all the paint is chipped off. But it's still cute. It's kitsch. It's whatever. And um, it's whatever. <laughs> Don't use my keywords of whatever in your titles. But yeah, it's Country Companions. I thought it was better than it was. Anyway, it's gone for £5 plus postage. So happy to see the back of it. And this is a CNA sweater vest or tank top whatever you want to call it there you go cna extra large um, vintage jumper rob bought me a while ago a massive box full of vintage jumpers and this was in there i have made my money back on it over and over again it was ridiculous we paid something like 20 pound for about 70 jumpers Bearing in mind, I wrecked about 10 of them by trying to wash them. Some of them shrunk. Some of them just went to pieces. Um, but they were stained and they were bad. Some of them had holes in, so I got rid of those. Back to charity. Um, but yeah, I've made my money back over and over and over again. It's really good. So yeah, this has gone CNA. Um, £8 got for that. So not bad at all. What do you think of these sales? Do you have a clear out every now and again or do you just let your shop crack on? I mean, I used to just let my shop crack on. Now I tend to try and get rid of all the stuff that's sticking and that isn't going and I'll put it on really cheap. I tried 99p auctions, which we all know about, but the less said about that, the better. Now I just try and bang things on for around £5 and see what I can get for them. And that's what Rob's been doing as well. Just bring these prices down, getting rid of the dead stock that hasn't had any interest. And then we're putting the money back into better things, which is what you can see up here. <laughs> the living room is starting to get taken over, people. This is what happens when you work from home and you're a reseller. Be warned. Right, so that's the end. That's it. That's all I've got to show you today. No complaining, which is a first. Um... I probably have got stuff I could complain about, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to on this one. I'm going to leave it like this. Show you all of the great sales and just revel in that for one video. And I'll get back to moaning on the next one. <clears throat> I definitely will. Um, you should see the amount of parcels there are on our stars. It is ridiculous. Anyway, that picture will be going up on my Instagram as it normally does. Um, if we do do any charity shops tomorrow, I'll be adding that into the next video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching all of you. I appreciate every single one of you, all of you that come to my channel and give me the time of day. I really, really appreciate all of you. I tried to do my live on Facebook <laughs> and for some reason the comments weren't working. After me saying about how, it's just ironic, isn't it? how the comments are better on there. I can see them for longer. I can reply to people better. I got no comments through at all. So when I came off, I saw all the comments and I felt relieved because I thought, <sighs> I knew people wouldn't ignore me and I knew that people would have been commenting. So I knew something was wrong, but I was relieved that I did actually have loads of comments. So I had to reply to all those. I did like little videos to reply rather than, you know, going back live and not being able to reply to anybody. Hopefully next time I go on there, it'll be better. Anyway, I will see you on the next one, guys. Take care, be kind, stay safe, and ta-ta.